Hello everyone. Today I would like to present our poster for the B4M 2020 with the title Simulation of Drift Eye Motion in OCT Scans Towards Better Comparability and Accuracy in OCT Motion Correction. This has been a project for my master studies, supervised by Stefan Kloner from the Pattern Recognition Lab at FAU Erlangen. Optical coherence tomography, among other ophthalmologic imaging systems, suffer from perpetual motion of the eye. This fixational eye movements that occur once the human fixes their gaze on an object include small amplitude tremor, slow drift and occasional high amplitude microsaccadic motion. We want to establish an open source simulation for drift motion and therefore create datasets with accessible ground truth to compare the distortion correction for identical motion patterns for different scanners and scan patterns. Previously proposed methods do not yield realistic simulations and are not publicly available. Therefore, we propose following key changes. We change the random walk to continuous domain. Then, see next potential steps are drawn from a uniform distribution based on a velocity and an angle in a Monte Carlo fashion. The next candidate pathway is then chosen based upon the fixation and visited locations potential using a weighted random selection. To decouple motion frequency from sampling frequency, we interpolated the path using a B-spline interpolation to create continuous motion between the simulated steps. To the upper left, we can see the summed potentials after one run. To the right of this, we can see a visualization of the random weighted selection showing the potential sum, next possible candidates as black circles, and the path shown in red. Below that, we can see an example path for half a second, where the simulated points are displayed in blue and the B spline interpolated points and line in orange. To the right, we can see an original and distorted image overlaid in red and cyan. And for more information, I would like you to check out the link in the description and also see our code on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching.